Hi, I'm Sudamini Mishra and you're watching Art Come Fab with Sudamini. Today I'm extremely excited to speak to Bhavna Kakkar, an art historian, art curator and the owner of the gallery Latitude 28. So Bhavna, first thing first, what do you think of the India Art Fair this time around? I think the India Art Fair 2020 was a much cleaner, better curated edition uh, and uh, what I did like was that there was a focus on the contemporary. You saw fresher, newer vo voices of a lot of young artists that I wasn't too familiar with and I'm a big fan of contemporary art. Um, I show that, I promote that, I collect that. So I think the new team with Jagdeep heading it and uh, uh, Jaya and the rest, they've done a really good job, you know. So yeah, I liked it. An art curator, what is it that you really look for when you're selecting your artists? Anything in particular? I think there are a lot of factors that go into the selection of the artwork. Uh, selection you know, is in various categories, whether it's for an exhibition, it's for a sale maybe, you know, uh, uh, and that goes as per what the client demands. So, so there are various ways in which we select artists for various things and, uh, and mainly of course if, you know, what, if you mean by what, how a gallery selects an artist the ones they need, want to represent. So that is a long process, you know. I, you see, I visit a lot of art shows. I, um, I'm an alma mater of Baroda MSU, which has, I think, some of the best artists in the country. I visit that regularly, uh, see what the young ones are doing. And then, you know, there's, in two, three years time, you, you pick up, you see, you observe, you, you know, you, you follow their practice. And then you kind of, and after working for some time, you, you think that, yeah, Maybe this is somebody who resonates and I can work with uh, and I want to show. Uh, so it's the uniqueness, it's, you know, it's the individuality, uh, originality, uh, dedication, uh, intelligence goes without saying. And uh, yeah, and how much they're able to push themselves and how much faith they have in the gallery. Eventually that is what a good marriage between a gallerist and an artist makes. Speak of originality, uh, are you speaking about the uniqueness of the medium used by the artist or the concept being put forth? What is it exactly? Uh, I think all of it put together. Uh, newer medium always excites me, always, you know. I, I am very much for experimental mediums. I've, right from the beginning, I've never really worried about uh, the commercial aspect of an experimental medium if it was, uh, you know, some a material which may 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 not last you know so i've always pushed the artist to work and uh, experiment with newer things if they wanted to and uh, if it's uh, it's it's it suits their style or work or uh, goes with their concept so yeah so medium is one but uh, uh, it's the idea behind it you know how they arrived at it so i usually like to have a lot of chats with the artists and understand where what is coming from and uh, many of them are not able to articulate themselves but you see the process over a period of time and understand how original is it or is it sometimes just a one-off you know you may like a certain work and or like a certain body and uh, and sometimes the artist is not able to match that ever so so it's a lot of factors that come in together when you say uniqueness individuality uh, all of that. So, I had, in fact, I have an artist called Prajwal who uh, has this very interesting work called Everything Has Been Done Before but we like to go back and do it all over again. So, so many of the concepts have been done but how, how I present it, you know, how I, I choose the medium, how I produce it, you know, production quality, things have changed now, you know, it's no longer that you can just use anything and anywhere and present it and call it art. So, uh, uh, so all of that, you know, you, we kind of, it comes together and, uh, and that's what one looks at. There is this notion that, uh, about gallerists all over the world, that they tend to be elusive or kind of picky about the works they select. Do you think that's a misnomer or is it a true representation of the art climate? I don't, I don't think it's a misnomer uh, because uh, we need to be picky, right? Um, I stand by the kind of art I show. 
uh, I take time in selecting the artists. I take time in planning my shows. And uh, and if I would were to be uh, completely, um, you know, amiable and uh, and uh, you know include everybody in my program, then I'd just be a schlock shop, you know. And uh, when when you come in and you think what 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 will I get to see at Latitude, and you'd be like, oh, I might see everything. One day a good artist, one day a bad artist, which may happen even now. But uh, but but of course, you know. But for now, my shows are curated in a certain manner, and so to speak, for several other galleries. So elusivity also goes with. I mean, you know, it's 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 taste, right? And uh, and we the the ones who represent artists, you know, there are galleries, you know, and with all due credit to them, they show different artists. They don't really have a set image because they work, they're more market driven, uh, which which works as well because those artists also need a space to show. So to each their own, I guess. Do you think it's important for an artist to be politically and socially relevant, or even personalized works do have a space in the current milieu? So again, we come back to your previous question on selection, the kind of artists we want to show. When I start working with somebody, I don't, don't know if it's going to sell or not, you know. I know the certain kind of work that will sell for sure, but when you pick up a newer person working in a completely new medium, uh, experimenting, you take time, you show them, you educate your collector, you educate your buyer, you know, sometimes you educate new people who walk in because we are in a, in a space which is open to everybody to come in. So uh, you show, show it, you show them in fairs, you show them in curated exhibitions and you slowly promote them. Building a market is something that every gallery needs to essentially do. Some want to take the shortcut and try to pick up something which is already sellable, right? And, uh, and like I said, all good because yeah, you need that too and uh, because you need to have a real passion and it's a long term thing. Building up an artist market takes a long, long time and you need to have the patience and the deep pockets and the conviction about them. You know, I would always, and I've always said this, I've shared this with my dealer friends and that when I try to sell something which is already hot in the market, it's not necessarily that if I get a work of that artist, I'm able to sell it like this. Whereas, whereas something which is, which is a tougher sale, but an artist I'm more convinced about, you know, I'm able to sell it much better. So, and that stands for many of the galleries, you know, who have faith in their artists and, and that conviction you know, it builds trust in the buyer, you know, okay, if she stands by it, maybe there's something to it, you know, she's going to promote it, she's going to be, this gallery is going to be around. So it's, 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 it's a full cycle, it's, you know, it's the artists, it's their peers, it's the curators, it's the critics, galleries, auction houses, collectors before the auction houses, and the auction houses, and back, you know, so it's, 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 uh, uh, a kind of a, a cycle that uh, each one is relevant and yeah okay one of the artists you represent is Sudeepta Das and I'm thoroughly intrigued by her works to think that she's done all of this with paper the kind of textures she's captured and she clearly has something to say so can you tell us more about her and her works I've been working with Sudeepta since 2013 um, like I was mentioning, you know, it takes time. It takes time for you to have that kind of a faith to be able to work and represent the artist and, uh, and for the artist too. You know, somebody especially who's young, who's, this is a very good example of somebody who's experimenting with the medium. She was doing mostly watercolors, paperworks, uh, of course, working in a similar medium, but uh, a completely different style and she not moved to the sculptural elements that you see now in the work but you could see and I could see that there is potential and those works were beautiful too so I, I met her while one of my trips to Baroda and where a common artist friend introduced her because she'd moved from Shantiniketan originally from Shantiniketan her family is from Assam and, uh, and the, the, the kind of the pain of uh, living in a flood uh, uh, ridden area uh, comes across in the work and also for somebody who's 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 a child of uh, uh, you know uh, a partition I mean uh, she's a she's a fourth generation Bangladeshi immigrant so which her family has been directly affected by that in the past so yeah so that you can see in the works that are 
up in the show right now and uh, yeah and Bhavna your magazine take and the gallery complete 10 years now how does it feel to have come so far uh, yes it's been uh, an eventful journey you know from uh, starting I started the gallery in 2010 and the magazine at the same time and uh, uh, 2009 is when I launched the brand and uh, that was in the uh, second edition of the India Arts Summit which, which was called that time and I also did an exhibition called Reclaim Recite Recycle uh, in which I launched the brand Latitude 28 which was kind of mid 2009 and 2010 is when I opened the gallery officially and and uh, yeah so it's it it was it was a, a kind of a, a time where uh, it was worrying because 2008 was the Lehman Brothers fall and everybody said you know this is not the time to open a gallery how are you going to succeed what are you going to do uh, you know you should show a certain kind of art will you be able to do you know and I opened the gallery primarily because I wanted to show the kind of art that I believe in so and not worry so much about what's in the market and uh, and yeah it's I think I've been able to do that and uh, especially with the magazine which is my complete passion project and my baby and uh, bringing out 25 editions various themes working with writers curators worldwide we've done some writing workshops with the magazine we've launched an art award last year for writing which is the first of its kind with pro helvetia uh, Swiss Arts Council where we uh, enable a young researcher writer in the fields of photography, architecture, uh, art of course visual art and performance to to go and research in Switzerland. So yeah so it's a lot of I think dreams and things that I wanted to do when I was a young person which have kind of come through through my both brands latitude and it's the support of all of our patrons, friends, art world people that I'm here. It was a pleasure talking to you, Bhavna, and the works are truly amazing.